Hi everyone, Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com. We did it. Jaspie's 22 box divisional playoff week weekend, I guess. Or I guess this week is divisional playoff week. Football mixer random team break number one from jazbeescasebreaks.com featuring all these wonderful boxes here. The whole list is right here. No veteran common ship, as everyone knows. And a break of this size. Right there, that gold rush box is right behind me over there. And big thanks to all of these folks right over here. So if you see these little rooftops next to your name, that means you won that spot in Translucent, in the Translucent breaks. So here are the winners for from Translucent 39, 40, 41, and 42. And of course, the people who bought their spots straight up, thank you to you as well. All 32 football teams are in. And let's roll it and randomize it four and a three seven times. One, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. Four and a three seven times. Bill down to Jeff. Four and a three seven times for the teams. One, two, three, four, five, six, and seventh and final time. Good luck, everybody. After seven times, the New York football giants all the way down to the Jaguars. Bill with the Giants, Sean with the Texans, Brian with the Ravens, Frank with the... Where's Frank? Frank's been wanting this thing to happen all day. Seahawks for you, Frank. Will with the Redskins, Chance with the Bears, Sean with the Chargers, Edwin with the Cowboys, John with the Dolphins, Sean with the Colts and Patriots, John with the Titans, Sean with the Panthers, Matthew with the Packers, John with the Broncos, Kip Kip Hooray with the Saints, John with the Niners, Mark with the Falcons, Arthur with my Raiders, William with the Rams, Reed with the Bengals, Jeff with the Bills, John with the Cardinals, Bill with the Lions, Frank with the Browns, Sean, last spot mojo, he bought the last spot straight up, Vikings, Jared with the Bucks, Jeff with the Eagles, Chiefs, Jets, Sean with the Steelers, and Jeff with the Jags. Now, feel free to trade if you'd like, but remember, trade A, trade at your own risk. You never know what's going to happen in these mixers. B, just keep, keep in mind the different years. Right here, we got 2018, 2015, mostly 18, 19. But we got some stuff that's from the blast, that are blast from the past as well. 2012 Crown Royale is in the mix. So there's a lot here. And who knows what could pop out in that 16 by 20. That's right over my shoulder right there. All right, so I'm going to pause the video, allow a moment or two for everyone to kind of digest their teams and what boxes that are available right here. And then when we come back, we'll have the break. Got, got a ton of boxes here. It's going to be it's going to be a lot of fun. BRB. All right, welcome back folks. We do have a trade. Jeff and John made a deal right here. So John now has the Bills and Jeff now has the Broncos. We'll put T next to there for trade. Just so, just so we know uh, who draws first blood, if any, in that trade. If you're following along at home. We got Lakers at Dallas tonight on ESPN. So we'll be watching a little basketball while we're doing this football break. I think no Anthony Davis landed on his tailbone the other night. It looked like that hurt. All right. I don't think I really have an order here. I'm just going to fly through these. I think we're going to do that elite first, though. All right, there you go. So on the 10th, the 22-box Divisional Playoff Week Football Mixer. Thanks, everyone, for getting in. And good luck to everybody. Thanks for the fill. Pause this again. I, I should have gotten some supplies. BRB. All right, welcome back, folks. Got some penny sleeves here. I'll bet all these group breakers keeping uh, keeping Ultra Pro busy.
All right. So now I let's move this out of there. We're going to start with Elite Collegiate Football. And we'll go by the uh, whatever the checklist is for Elite. So our team will look that up when they're sorting out all that stuff. Let's pop all these open. Good luck, everybody. Now the Lakers up 10-5 on the Mavs early. This is a good matchup because Luka Doncic has been has been chasing a lot of a lot of LeBron records in terms of like triple doubles and stuff like that. The numbers Doncic has been putting up has been pretty ridiculous. With no Anthony Davis, Kyle Kuzma gets a bit of a opportunity to get more minutes. And kind of playing in that Anthony Davis role there. So hopefully Kuz can get some get a little consistency going. Which he needs. Consistency is important for him. All right. Good luck. So just in the interest of time, we're going to be moving a little quickly on this break. If you see me miss any numbered cards, our shipping team will be able to, uh, to sort all of those out. So don't worry. We'll try to catch as much as possible. Eddie Vanardos for the team that we'll look up, whatever team he was drafted by in 2017. Jeff B. saying Luka Doncic will be good someday. Does anyone else see him as a potential uh, Larry Bird? I, I'm not sure if his... I mean, he's a good shooter. I don't know if he's as great of a sharpshooter as Larry Bird is, but... But, I mean, there's potential that he may just... just put up just better numbers overall than a lot of people. LeBron included, Jordan included, you know? And then we've got Daryl Daniels, autograph. Eddie Vanderdos was the first autograph. And then we'll look up that Daryl Daniels as well. Obviously, those die cuts will ship too. Jose, can't wait for February 4th, 2020. Yes, that's when we will be doing our, our uh, million card rip party with Tops in Dallas. We'll be live streaming from that event. There's D'Angelo Yancey. which you can pre-order now, folks, jaspiescasebreaks.com. Oh, nice, Jose. You know, I don't know if, if that event is going to be open to the public or not. But we'll keep you posted on that. Let's get into some 2019 play. We're going to be kind of bouncing around all over the place here, so... 
Blues Riff and E, watch me for the changes and try to keep up. It's not open to the public? Boo. You looked into it and no? Why wouldn't they? At least for at least for a couple hours. Have people kind of filter through, say hi to their favorite breakers. Did I miss an auto? How could I forget about Gabe Marks? Gabe Marks going to whoever team he got drafted by back in 2017. There you go. Can't short someone to Gabe Marks. All right, so thanks for the sharp eyes, you guys. Dang it, I was I was gonna try to try to steal that Gabe Marks autograph off you guys. You guys caught me though. I would have gotten away with it too. If it weren't for you meddling kids. We got some playoff here. Playoffs? Playoffs? We got some game day memorabilia. Manuel Sanders. I thought that was going to be an autograph there, but no. Ah, there's your autograph. One out of 50, Jace Sternberger. That goes to Matt Powell and the Packers. Won that in a translucent break. Got 50 out of 99, Ryan Finley, Saquon, Miko. There's Miles Sanders, turning pro relic, 35 out of 50. <laughs> no, Frank, we're only two boxes in. Still got 20 boxes to go. Not yet, though. Oh, Drew Locke autograph, nice. That goes to the Broncos, Jeff Peace, who got the Broncos in a trade. Draws first blood. Blood. <laughs> Dennis Solari, but it's celery. All right, what about some rookies and stars? We'll get into that. Brian O, what's going on? <laughs> right, Tonin. Yeah, the one that I was trying to steal.
How are the uh, how are Broncos fans feeling about Drew Locke? Is he the future there? Andy Isabella and Dwayne Haskins, big time. To 100, that will be for Will and the Redskins. Got that spot straight up. Don't worry, Jeff, it will. This this break is only two hours. It, it will definitely end before your grandson's graduation next year. We got Gary Jennings Jr. to 199. Darius Slayton autograph going to the Giants. That'll be for Bill D. Tiggs. Got the won that spot in a random as well. It's Tom Brady. If there's any points in here, which I'm sure there might be at some point. Um, if there's any points, then we'll randomize them to one person in the break. Winner take all on the points. All right, Daryl Henderson, Dress for Success, autograph for the Rams. Nice. That'll be for William Punt. <laughs> Jeff saying, Jan, I'm hanging with you, youngsters. You got to be strong like bull. Listen, this, this break will take about a couple hours, Jeff. You can take a quick little nap. You take a quick little nap, be right here at 8.45 Pacific, and then I'm sure Flawless will be full by then. And you'll be refreshed, bright-eyed and bushy-tailed. Bright-eyed, bushy-tailed. One left on that Flawless, by the way, just Nationals. Let's lock that into that time slot. Unless, uh, unless Playbook has filled, then that will interrupt Flawless. So maybe Jeff, you just you you should lock in the Nationals before someone fills up playbook. Then you can lock in that flawless break. You can take a nap. You'll be right back here at 8:45 Pacific. You'll be you'll be ready. A little power nap. Frank, you got the Browns, and you got the Seahawks. Okay, another rookies and stars. Cleveland Farrell for the Raiders to 99. Christian McCaffrey, DJ Moore to 199. We got Jamel Dean. Kenny Clark to 75 to 35. Calvin Ridley, high octane to 125. That'll be for the Falcons, Mark Bellinger with that. Damian Harris autograph to 50. That'll be for Sean with the Pats. Action Pack, Roquan Smith to 99. Easton Stick autograph, 35 out of 60. That's for Sean Kirkham and the Chargers with the spot that he won in uh, one of the translucents. Brett Favre to 75. All right, let's get into some 2019 Donruss football. On average. Yeah, I think his parents were hockey fans. Yervin, what's going on? Yeah, I don't know what the Chargers are going to do. I mean, what's Philip Rivers going to do? Is he is he officially a free agent? I guess, or once the league calendar turns over? Shots, 
Yeah, he's an unrestricted free agent. Starting when the new calendar, new league calendar sets, I think it's in March, an unrestricted free agent. According to Spotrad. So what do... I don't know what the Chargers are going to do. I feel like I've got the feeling that he's going to re-sign, right? He's got to re-sign for like a couple years maybe. He's 38. This, this 2020, he's 38. Give him a couple years and then draft a quarterback in first, second round or something like that. Draft a quarterback and let him marinate behind Phillip Rivers. Because Chargers actually have a pretty good have a pretty good team. The Keenan Allen, Mike Williams, Melvin Gordon, even if they re-sign him, which they should. Austin Eckler is great. They've got a great defense with Derwin James back there. So that could be really interesting. If they pick up that quarterback. I don't know if Easton sticks the guy they want marinating behind him. Who knows? Raiders should get Rivers and a wide receiver one. They could be in the playoffs. I don't know. That doesn't doesn't help their defense, so that's their biggest problem. Lamar Jackson. Champions here, Mahomes. So for the most part, NFL players on the whole get pretty much screwed on contract relative to baseball players. Why Why is that? Uh, better players union for baseball. They have collectively bargained much better over the years than the NFL players union has. That's why. Right, salary cap stuff too. Travis Homer. David Montgomery, die cut. Sterling Shepard. Oh, Jersey Kings. I was trying to read that script there. Jersey Kings. Right, like 26 out of 100 for the Giants. Bill Tiggs, though. And Keelan Cole, 25 out of 50 is your autograph. Signature marks for the Jags. That's going to go to Jeff Peace. Roquan Smith, press proof die cut to gold to 25. Coos. T.Y. Hilton to 50. David Johnson. Greg Parks wondering, you're surprised people who choose football over ba basketball and f or football over basketball and baseball? Yeah, I don't know why. I, mean, I suppose it just comes down to preference. Well 
you know. My shelf life, Greg Parks, being a uh, being a lawyer and making a boatload of money for a longer period of time, I could have done that. Or I can get into this. <laughs> Economics is usually the deal, yeah. Baseball, think about how long you have to wait to, to, to get paid. You're on a minor league deal for a few years. You go through four or five years of uh, go through four or five years of arbitration before you can even get a huge contract. So I think in the NFL tone and you have to play years. A lot of years before you can lock in a pension. Whereas baseball, I think, one one a handful of major league games may get you health care for life. The players union, baseball players union is really strong. NFL players union has not have has have has had as uh, enough leverage over the years. How many packs do I think I've ripped in my life? I don't know. That's a good question. We've been doing this for five years. Now, let's say the first, maybe first year we weren't seven nights a week. Or we weren't really full time. Let's say we've been doing this for four years consistently. How many breaks do we do on average? And how many boxes and packs per break is there? There's Easton Stick, and I'll bet you can kind of calculate nice Kyler Murray downtown. I'll bet you can calculate roughly how many packs we've opened. <laughs> yeah, a lot, lot. Guess what? Doctors get health care paid for it too, Vanilla Gorilla, with all the money they make, brain surgeons, and all the money they make. And Kyler Murray autograph? Yes. John Sodaro, who won a spot in Translucent, number 39, got randomized the Arizona Football Cardinals, gets the Kyler Murray downtown card, and right afterwards gets the Kyler Murray autograph, blue to 75. You're welcome, man. Thanks for, uh, thanks for giving those Translucents a shot. Congrats on winning a spot. Nicely done. Out of a single box of this optic? That's pretty nice. Pretty lucky for us. Nick snagged the right box when he was setting up this mixer. There's Josh Jacobs, rated rookie silver. We'll have all of those sleeved and top loaded before they ship out. Just in, in the interest of time for this 22 box football mixer, we're going to kind of breeze by those. Irv Smith Jr., velocity, those are not numbered. Love those downtown cards, too. I think they do pretty well in a secondary market. Nikhil Harry to 150. I don't know if all the football teams have a downtown card, but that'd be I think that'd be a cool set to build if you're into that sort of thing. All right, how about this guy up here? How about some 2018 Absolute Football? Also, if you've never been to Phoenix, if you've never been to Phoenix, this is what Phoenix looks like. Just a, uh, a giant legendary bird flying around with, uh, with one lone cactus. And some sort of vortex happening here, some cacti, cacti vortex. That's what downtown Phoenix looks like if you've never been there. John, did you crunch some numbers? Sadaro crunched some numbers here. He says that he thinks that I've opened over 780,000 packs. Wow. That's a lot of packs. I have. He texted me. That Zion was amazing. 
Was it something a customer ripped at his shop or was it something he ripped for another customer? Man, 600 packs per night easy? Jeez. Maybe I should, uh... Maybe, do you think I, I probably deserve a... Deserve to negotiate like hand massages in my in my deal, right? I'm gonna find a good hand massage place. Nice Darius Geis. Twenty three out of forty nine rookie Darius Geis. Triple relic and autograph. That is for Will Comstock and the Redskins. Bulldog fan. With that one, if healthy, that guy's pretty good. We got signature standouts. James Washington for the Steelers. Sean with the Steelers. Eric Berry. Chiefs relic. That goes to Jeff Peace and the Chiefs. Boss Hogs auto. That's Simi Cobbs Jr., another Redskin for Bulldog fan. And Tools of the Trade, Nelson Aguilar, 16 out of 75. That's for the Eagles, Jeff Peace with the Eagles. Let's see, let's tuck some of these hits away here. All right. Well, let's get that mega box out of the way. How about this? Probably do that best of football last. 2017 mega box. Oh, sorry. Put the camera there. Where are the cards? There they are, all down there. Do I think Zion will stay healthy? I hope so. Otherwise, I fear for the all that 1920 basketball product that we've been buying. Vinny, you had a cracked ice DeAndre Hunter? And he wasn't impressed? I would have been impressed, Vinny. And even if I wasn't, I'd pretend I was impressed, just for you. Rory's got to work on uh, on being excited for every single hit, for every single person, every single time. Well, Greg, I saw Greg Parks. I saw Zion on TV earlier today on the ESPN game. He looked a little slimmer. His face looked a little smaller. You know, so, you know, and I think, I think Pelicans are trying to teach him how to run again, right? There's Raekwon. Those aren't numbered. Right, behind Jamal Adams is rookie phenom Carlos Henderson. Nice Carlos Henderson going to Jeff Peace. See, that's how you have to do it. Maybe Rory just needs to learn about showmanship. That's what it's all about. Ooh. Can't forget you. Nice Mahomes, Patrick Mahomes for Jeff and the Chiefs. Uh, 
All right, how about some contenders? Should we go back in time first? Yes, let's go back in time with a few contenders boxes. Here's 2017 contenders, then we'll do 2018 contenders, and then we'll do 2019 contenders. All right, Brian, thanks for checking in, man. Have a good one. Personally, I hope Zion does well. Actually, I take that back. I kind of hope that he doesn't do well for like the first month or two. And then, uh, and then I could snap up a bunch of Zion cards and then have him just rock and roll to close out the season. That's what I hope. Yeah, it's going back to football, Vinny's saying, since, since football break. Kyler better than Baker. I don't know. Yeah, it's a little early, as Augustus is saying. Uh, I think we got to see... I, got, I think we got to see Baker Mayfield in a good situation. Last year was not a good situation for him. Travis Rudolph, right? The coaching was terrible, I think... You know, which made him regress a little bit. You know, he so he's he's making, attempting to make plays that he shouldn't attempt to make. That's kind of coaching, yeah. So let's see. I mean, I'd like to see what he does when he has like a full, a full bit of support behind him. Good coaching behind him. If I, if I see good some good coaching behind, him, if they get Josh McDaniels, and he decides to keep, uh, Kyler Murray, keep Baker Mayfield. I mean, think about how much hype that team had last offseason, last summer, summer 2019, but for good reason, you know? Yeah, all hollows do ship. Those are not commons. So, yeah. I agree, Wayne. I think Freddie Kitchen's fault, mostly, not, not, not Baker Mayfield's. And then I think Baker May Mayfield just got a little, uh, just a little reckless, just because he was just like, "All right, well, I'm not being coached up. I just do whatever I want." And so, I think he's kind of made some bad decisions here. So, but I think with some good coaching, we can do it. Kyle Kramer, what's up? Do you think they'll retain Beckham? They should. They should retain him. Will they? I don't know. Yeah, Kyler did all right, Vinny. I mean, I think he's in the conversation for Offensive Rookie of the Year. You know? I think the market, being being in, in Arizona, I think may not put too much attention on him, but... But I think he's pretty good. He didn't didn't make a lot. If you look at his numbers, didn't make too many mistakes for a rookie quarterback. Seemed like he knew when to throw things away. Didn't put him in put himself in bad positions when he was when he's running with the football. There's Anthony Averett. This is 2018 contenders, by the way. So I think he did all right. I think he I think he's a pretty pretty good player. I mean, with Kyler Murray, I think there's almost a little bit of, a little bit of this guy, right? Both can move a little bit. I mean, Kyler's smaller, but he can move a little bit. Baseball background, so they have great arms. We've got cracked eyes, Russell Wilson, one out of twenty-four. That's nice for the Seahawks. That goes to Frank. Greg says, you've got a terrible helmet jersey auto curse. you got to sign Jamarcus, <laughs> Ryan Leaf, David Carr, and Johnny Manziel. Ooh. I still maintain that David Carr was a, was a lamb to slaughter, though, in Houston. Right? That guy, how many times did that guy sacked that for his first year? He's just a kid, you know? They're Will Disley. Nice. Seahawks. 
Frank with the with the ticket stub edge right there. Remember, Will Disley probably back in 2018 was like, huh? <laughs> but now, since before he went down with injury, he had a great year in 2019. That's a good one. Lamar Jackson, great career or gets destroyed running. I think the rules favor the running quarterback these days. There's Mike McGlinchey for the Niners. That'll be for John McCall. I think Lamar Jackson should be fine. Especially with the strides that he's made. Nice Christian Kirk on-card autograph for John Sodaro. I think with the strides that he made... Throwing the football, you know, so much more accuracy, so much more, uh, you know, just so much more strength in that arm. Distance, accuracy is a lot better. Look at the, some of the throws he's been making. He's worked really hard on that. So I think, I hope that he'll be able to translate, transition into throwing more. I think his coaching staff will probably encourage that more too. Right now, still kind of young. I think he can still run around a little bit, but... I think what's encouraging is that he doesn't have to rely on that as much with his arm. Derwin James, nice one for the, I almost said Padres. Los Angeles Chargers, not even lost San Diego anymore. Sean Kirkman, Kirkham with that one. Nice. Part of that solid Chargers defense. All right, now let's get into 2019. Oh, I would too, Wayne. That that'd be great for the hobby. Everyone can dust off their Baker Mayfield cards, Wayne, if he goes back to twenty seventeen form. Hopefully, new coach, maybe Josh McDaniels will help that. Augustus says you want to see Drew Locke do well for now. As a Raiders fan, I don't want to see that happen. But as a fan of the hobby, um, as a fan of the hobby, I would like to see Drew Locke do well as well. Nice. Yeah, a lot of times it does, John Sodaro. A lot of times expired redemptions do still go through the system. And even if it doesn't, Panini's usually pretty good about getting you something in return. But yeah, they generally do work past... Uh, I don't know if Topps expired redemptions are the same way. I don't think they are. I don't think expired upper deck redemptions are the same way. But I know Panini... Definitely is a little bit better about expired redemptions than, than the other manufacturers. So I'm glad that went through. We'll get something. That's why we don't mind picking up some older uh, some older uh, product from by Panini because we know that most of the time those expired redempts will go through. I agree, Eastwood. Roger's saying the running QBs need to just learn from Russell Wilson. Always gets down or out of bounds if he never takes a hit outside the pocket. It's true. It's smart. Smart player. Well, Kyler gets to see him twice a year, so hopefully over the years, Kyler Murray will learn that. We're seeing examples in his own division. That would be good for the hobby. All right, this is 2019 contenders. Anthony, what's going on? Where are the autographs in this box? There's a Kenny G to 99. Are they all here? No, they must be. All right. There's Kalen Saunders, 25 out of 99. Chiefs, that'll go to uh, Jeff Peace. There you go, Jeffrey. There's a Bruce Anderson, rookie ticket autograph for the Bucks. That's going to go to Jared and the Buccaneers. There's Ola B.C. Johnson, rookie ticket autograph for the Vikings. That's going to be for Sean Kirkham, last spot mojo. 
And we got some points. We'll do winner take all on the points. And rookie roundup, Riley Ridley autograph. Nice. Four out of ten. Bears. Chance with the Bears. This game's getting this. Wow, Lakers up 54-34. Nine minutes left in the uh, second quarter, in the first half. It's getting a little chippy here, though. Technicals and whatnot. Oh, no, not a technical, but... All right, so I'm sure the Lakers will blow this lead in the third quarter and then hang on to win in the fourth quarter. It seems to be their M.O. Lakers first half team. All right, how are we doing on orders here? Playbook is sold out. Still four left in the number block. And the national is still available. So after this football mixer, it could either be playbook or flawless. Up to you, ladies and gentlemen. First to fill, first to break. JaspiesCaseBreaks.com. Rune Deck, AD is injured. He landed on his tailbone. Ow. Landed on a tailbone earlier this week. He made the trip, but, uh, but I think he's going to sit out a game or two. All right, Flawless is sold out, Mr. Sodaro is saying. Confirmed, it is sold out. So we can add that to the docket. So I think in that 920 time slot right there. Yeah, that's right, Stephen Case, you gone. Let's, let's, let's get... Let's get that playbook finished off because we just need to do a number block and that could bring us right to the end of the night. So four left in that number block. Ray Lewis, Jimmy Garoppolo relic. This is, what is this, 26, this is 2016 select. So that'll go to Sean and the Pats to 199. More points. We'll add that to the pile of points. Winner take all on the pile of points. Richard Sherman. Derek Henry, rookie silver. Nice. That goes to John McCall. Jeff needs his nap, looks like. Relax, Jeff. You know how long this break was going to take. Should have filled out the other stuff earlier. No, no one of ones yet, Jeff. Yes, playbook we do have time for in that in that uh, that nine twenty time slot, right there on the schedule in the chat. And a two out of five, Ladanian Tomlinson autograph. Wow. That was that's unexpected. Out of one box of 2016 select. So no one of ones yet, but this is close. Chargers. That goes to Sean Kirkham, who picked up uh, who got that spot in a translucent break. Nice. Big fan of the Ladanian Tomlinson. All aboard the Big Hit Express. Woo woo! 
Brett Favre and second defensive player drafted in 2017. Seventeen NFL Draft. Miles Garrett was the number one overall pick. Defensive end. Second was QB Mitch Trubisky. And third, the second defensive player taken was Solomon Thomas, defensive end from Stanford, who went to uh, the Niners. So that goes to San Francisco. You still might be able to redeem, probably redeem that too. That'll be for John McCall and the Niners. All right, how about some Phoenix right here since it's right here. We still have that, that. We're actually getting pretty close to the end here. No, Luca. Don't 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 Score grab your Score don't Luka. grab your left thumb. MVP Luca. We need him to be healthy. Oh yeah. All right. Mignon. Yeah. I like those Mavs City uniforms. I have to admit. All right, so Phoenix. Good luck catching fire, Jerry Rice to seventy five. Drew Locke Red to 299. Gardner Minshew to 75. And Will Greer to 35. Rookie relic for the Panthers. Sean Kirkham with that. Garoppolo to 199. Juan Thornhill to 199. He might not be available in the. The game this week it could be a bigger deal than we think. Carson Wentz to 299. Catching fire, Marquise Brown to 299. And there's 47 out of 49. Out of, check that, 99. J.J. Arthigo Whiteside. That goes to the Eagles, Jeff Peace. There you go, Jeff. Got that in a random and a translucent break. Nick Foles to 199. Jonesy to 99. Daniel Jones. Jalen Hurd, you heard, to 299. Denzel Ward, one out of 50. Veteran jersey and autograph. Nice one for the Browns. Frank of the Browns. Haskins to 35, and that was Phoenix. All right, what about some prism here? This is 2015 prism. Lucas Thumb is fine, yeah, apparently it is.
Oh, Bill saying you met London Fletcher when he played in St. Louis. That that guy inspired you to be a linebacker. Zach Thomas inspired me to be a linebacker. Until the football coach said that you're not you're you're just not big enough. And I was like, oh, okay. So that dream died. Logan's in the house. Yep. Yeah, you definitely got lucky in that flawless. Yeah, maybe quit while you're ahead. Lamar Miller. John Sadara has, got, has a good question for us. Most underrated rookie this season. Uh, in NFL? Hmm, since we are doing an NFL break. Gino, those reds are not numbered, but they will shit. Drew Brees, also not numbered in this particular set. Prism, those colors, usually not numbered. Melvin Gordon, 150. Rookie autograph, nice one for the Sean Kirk and with the Chargers. Nice Chargers having a nice break. Easton Sticks, Ladanian Tomlinson, Melvin Gordon. There is Amir Abdullah. That's a variation. Jared Cook, Rams edition. Terry McLaurin, I think, is a good one, Kaysen. That's pretty underrated. There's Kiko Alonso to 150. Brett Hundley to 150. Because I think everyone's just kind of like lols Redskins, right? And so I, I don't know if people are maybe outside of people who play like Fantasy or DraftKings, you know. I, I don't know if, if Terry McLaurin's getting that, that kind of hype. You know, on like ESPN or NFL Network and stuff like that. Every once in a while, he, he'll get some love, but not as much as some of the other guys. And Shane Ray autograph for the Broncos. Another one for Jeff. All right, let's go back in time to 2012. Crown Royale. Well, yeah, McLaurin definitely has tremendous upside. Needs a QB, though. Wait, didn't they play together in college? So maybe he doesn't need a QB. Maybe that... Didn't Haskins and McLaurin... They're buddies? Maybe I got that wrong. Yeah, at Ohio State, right? I mean, everyone talks about how important that connection is. All right, there's uh, Tamaha Lee. Mike Martin. John McCall, Titans to 149. We got Rookie Royalty, Trent Richardson. Remember how huge Trent Richardson was? Cyrus Gray to 149. We got Levante David. <laughs> Listen, I, I'm, open to, I'm, I'm 
opening baseball cards for other reasons. So, yeah. Make good money opening baseball cards. I can't keep playing. I, I get to talk about sports all day. This is what I'd be doing. <laughs> Boss man was saying to, to Bruce in the background, he was just like, man, Joe hasn't burned out on the break, breaking part of it yet. And I was just like, man, I'm blessed to have this job. We got Chris Givens. That's the 40. Chris Givens. I'm going to say... I'm going to say Rams. I'm going to say I'm going to say Rams for Chris Givens 2012. Oh, DeSwarm confirming Rams as well. Nice. Got it. I don't know why I have this bit of useless information in my head. Although St. Louis Rams back then, but this will go to LAR. William Punt with the Rams. He was on the Memphis Express for a little bit in 2019. Let's get into some illusions. All right, and coming up right after this, once again, will be prominent. Then we've got flawless, and then probably playbook. Playbook is now officially sold out, so we're booked for the night, ladies and gentlemen. There you go. All right, so let's get that on the schedule right here. All right, so there you go. So right now, we're just about one, two, three, four, five, six, seven boxes away from finishing up this 22-box football mixer. It's been a long one, but I appreciate everybody hanging out in the chat with me, making this break feel a lot shorter than it, than it is. Prominence football will happen shortly after this. Then we'll get into some flawless baseball. Then we'll do the playbook. Uh, number block plus the pick your team and I think that'll probably bring us to a really good stopping point so I think we're gonna that should bring us to pretty close to the end of the night so we'll call it a night after that all right but now let's get into 2019 illusion is Tremaine Edmonds to 399 we've got Instant Impact, Nikhil Harry. Patriots, Sean Kirkham. Vernon Hargraves, a two to three ninety nine. Jalen Smith, two ninety nine. Kyler Murray, got a little extra thread right there for the Kyler Murray, John Tadaro. Adding to the Downtown card that you got earlier in this break, and his autograph. Ed Oliver to 299. Sony Michelle to 399. Tom Brady to 50. Remember when he said he wanted to play to 50? Ooh, dual relic, dual autograph. Bryce Love, and we were just talking about him, Terry McLaurin. Nice. One out of 40. Nice dual autograph for Bulldog fan, Will Comstock. And the Redskins. Got randomized the Redskins. He got a spot straight up as well. Thanks for that. Cole Beasley to 399. Shining Stars to 50. And we got Quadri Allison, 73 out of 99 for Mark Bellinger and the Falcons. 
Yeah, I like that. I like when the dual autos are the same team. I don't have to make someone sad. Well, just one person happy. Let me make myself a little room here. Kevin's Leighton Van Der Esch, 299. And that is your illusions. Use your illusions. Which use your illusion is better, one or two? GNR fans. All right. The encase card is Paris Campbell, 78 out of 150. Nice. Colts. That goes to Sean with the Colts. All right, let's get into some certified. And then we've just got these boxes plus the 16 by 20 to go. We're almost there. Almost there. No randomizers, just the points randomizers, and that's it. This is 2018 certified. All right, folks. Here are my official official plays, by the way. Entertainment purposes only. Need a little bit of lunch money here and there. I'm going Vikings plus seven at San Francisco. Garoppolo's first playoff. I think the pressure is on the Niners more than more than is on the on the Vikings. So I think the Vikings can play easy and loose, knowing that they played a great game in New Orleans. No one's expecting them to win, you know. So I think they can cover. Niners probably win, but by seven? I'm not, I'm not sure if I feel that. I, I like these fun little first touchdown props. I'm putting like a dollar on these first touchdown props, but B.C. Johnson, Stephon Diggs, Irv Smith Jr., Minnesota defense, Tevin Coleman, Kyle Juszczyk, Jimmy G., San Francisco defense. First touchdowns right there. The Saturday game, which we're going to be watching, to be, both of these games we'll be watching tomorrow. Jeremy Shockey. And, oh, that's just one of these. That's Mark Andrews. I think he'll be healthy for the game tomorrow. I'm taking the Ravens minus 10. I'm laying a lot of points, which I'm nervous about. But, I mean, I think the Ravens are just, are just too good. I think they'll overwhelm the, the, the Tennessee Titans at the end. Un I mean, listen, if... Hats off if Derrick Henry rushes for like a zillion yards and just dominates that game. Fine, you know, like I'll live with that if that happens. But it's Josh McCown, admirable effort last week from him. Uh, Jared, I, 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 I couldn't tell you. I'm terrible with point totals. I don't even play those. I'm just no good at those. I feel like I get them wrong every time. There's a carry on Johnson. Carry on my wayward son. To 399, nice freshman fabric for the Lions. Bill H with that. Yeah, Wayne. Sure, certainly, certainly. I think the ceiling for for Jimmy Garoppolo is definitely higher than Kirk Cousins. Probably, maybe. I don't know. Or maybe they're about the same. But first playoff games. There's Andy Dalton, certified gamers to 99. Reed with the Bengals. I think look up the stats on on quarterbacks in their first playoff game. That's a different different beast, completely different vibe than than a regular season game. There's Darius Geis for Will. But Jared's asking if I like the under in that Green Bay Seattle game, 46 and a half. I really don't know. Where, 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 where are you leaning, Deswarm? Well, I'll tell you who I'm taking in that game. I, I, I'm laying minus four and a half with Green Bay. I'm taking Houston plus nine and a half too. I feel like Deshaun Watson will. The possibility of him backdoor covering. You know. Now I know everyone's talking about how great the the Kansas City defense has been playing as of late, but 
they've been playing some soft teams. I don't know. That's my that's my my little cap there. There's Alshon Jeffrey to 99. Christian McCaffrey, Mother Load. Nice. To 99. Panthers, Sean. You like that Texans pick? I mean, I don't know if they're going to win. But Deshaun Watson can do magical things. I think they played a very tough defense last week, so they kind of didn't really get, get anything going. Listen, Andy Reid off a of bye. That guy's pretty incredible. This also goes to the Bengals, Golden Jumbo Threads. You know, but Kansas City defense can be a little suspect. I could see I could see Kansas City leading by like 12 the entire way and then Houston backdoor covering. There's James Washington, 49, newly minted for the Steelers. That'll be for Sean. We've got Michael Gallup, 71 out of 99, Jersey an hour, galloping over to Edwin and the boys. Is there fuss over the weather in Green Bay? I think it's supposed to be cold, but no, like, adverse weather, right? There's Carlton Davis and Chris Thompson to 49. Carlton Davis goes to the Bucks. That'll be for Jared. That's for Deswam. So, Deswam, what do you think? Over, under? I mean, again, prefacing by saying I'm not no good at these. Do I think points will be scored? I mean, what? What's you like the under? Yeah. See, that's that's a really good point. I like that second point especially. Green Bay defense is um, Green Bay def defense is is strong, but I think you're right. I think they get a lead a little early, the Packers do, and then they just then they just have Aaron Jones just eat up clock, which could allow. For that that sort of slower gameplay could allow for could favor the under. Oh, is there gonna be snow? Oh, that's even better then. If you got if you have some weather there. Alright, we got David Cobb, jersey and autograph for the Titans. That's gonna be for John McCall. We got Silas Red. Simply red. If you don't know me by now. That's simply red, right? Silas Red will go to Will Comstock. Malcolm Smith will go to my Raiders, although he's writing Super Bowl MVP right there. Not while he was there, but I wish. Goes to Arthur Hackett and my Raiders. And look at this. Joe Namath. Woo! Joe Namath. Broadway Joe for Jeff Peace, who got randomized to the Jets. Won a spot in the translucent. Out of a mixer, like one random box of 2016 signature series. Hi, Joe. Man. Man. Is that sports blog still around? Kissing Susie Colbert? This is a pretty funny blog name. Man, if Broadway Joe did that... In 2019. Times have changed, ladies and gentlemen. Marquise Blair to 25. And 5 out of 35. Alize Mack for the Saints. That'll be for Kip. Kip, Kip, hooray with that. Dexter Lawrence, Daniel Jones. All right. Redemption. Jeffrey Simons. Simmons. Rook, rookie autograph, Purple Stars. I don't know where he goes. Titans. 
I'm thinking Titans. Yes, defensive end for the Titans. Got it. John McCall. All right. Leaf best of football and then the 16 by 20 right here. We're there. We're done, folks. There's actually that extra Leaf card in there in their college uniform. It'll go to the team they're currently on. Dwayne Haskins, 5 out of 25. Redskins. That'll be for Will. And this is a graded card in here. Graded and autographed. Ooh. It's Brett Favre from 2017 Elite Draft Picks, alma mater autographs, graded a 9 and 10. And, of course, this will go to, if they're in their non-pro uniform, it'll go to the team they played for the longest. Obviously, that's the Packers. Matthew Powell. Nice hit. Good way to end this mixer. we got to do the 16 by 20 photo as well. All right, so box 22 coming up. All right, so there it is. The autograph 16 by 20 by Gold Rush Football Edition. All right, who am I? Let's play a quick round of who am I to close out this break. Who am I? I am, am I, I guess I'm considered an, I'm an active quarterback in the NFL, played for three teams my entire career, three-time pro bowler, an NFL passer rating leader, a first-team All-American, an MWC Offensive Player of the Year, Career 193 touchdowns, 101 interceptions, 34,068 passing yards, a 62.4% completion percentage, 87.3 passer rating, career 2,601 rushing yards, and 15 rushing touchdowns. From California, went to college in Utah, and a former number one overall pick. Former number one overall pick, went to Utah, grew up in California. There you go. The Swam's got it. Alex Smith went for the played for the Niners for a while, Chiefs for a little bit, and the Redskins. Hopefully he recovers. There it is. Nice big 16 by 20 photo. Alex Smith. There's the whiteout ink autograph right over here. You've got the Beckett sticker in the bottom right corner. There's this kind of an awkward angle on this camera right here, but there you go. If you look in the corner cam, my face cam, you'll see the nice Alex Smith autograph. Beckett card on the back right here. Redskins edition, obviously. That'll go to Will Comstock and the Redskins. Now, hopefully, what is what is his injury status? I mean, man, that was a crazy injury. Wow. In October 15, 2019, Smith revealed to have 17 surgeries to repair the damages. That was bad. So he injured it in 2018. And within a year, had 17 surgeries. So we'll see, we'll see how he, he, if he's able to bounce back from that. All right, let's randomize the points to somebody. And then the break is done. Let's roll it. And yeah, according to Wikipedia, 17 surgeries. Two out of five, seven times. One, 
two, three, four, five, six, and seven. Then final time. After seven, we've got Sean. You've got some consolation points going your way. The 400 pointer and the 250 points right here. Thanks for watching. Thanks for breaking with us. This is Joe. We'll see you next time for the next break. Bye bye. Jaspiescasebreaks.com.